Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Uh, some journeys are very unexpected. One of those journeys is today. We are going to Sunari. Uh, this is a Kamakya Mandir in Sunari in the Gwalpara district. So let me show you how we can go there. Uh, it's a place where people go to to worship and get the wishes fulfilled. Today we are going there and I'll show you around how you can get there and how it looks there, how it feels to be there. So stay tuned in our journey. It's uh, around 6.25 in the morning and we are starting from the Beltola area and uh, 120 kilometers approximately to reach our destination. Let's see how long we take to reach our place. So stay tuned. So the route that we'll be taking is Soigao, Boko, then we'll go to Dudnoi and after that to Agia where we'll take the turn. And that's the fog we are crossing. Look at that. January, first week of January 2021 and this is the fog. 54 kilometers from Guwahati is Choigao and we are here in one hour. This is Choigao. It's 7.30 in the morning and we are at Boko. You come across a market and what are they? Wonderful oranges. And when we talk about winter, there's nothing like oranges. This is Rongjuli Market. Asia's largest uh, uh, banana market in fact is here but today we are in another market where we have the necessary commodities and vegetables and groceries they are just opening up but we wanted some um, oranges let's, let's check out on some oranges okay, rupees 200 for 12 we are at Rongjuli and we are purchasing some oranges. So this market is just for opening up. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and it happens to be uh, the largest of the Asia selling uh, bananas. It's 8.30 in the morning and we are entering Dudnoi in the Gwalpara district. This is the Krishnai river. It comes from the Garo hill 105 kilometers and merges with the Brahmaputra. Now it's around 10 minutes to 9 and we are entering Agia. We need to take a left turn when we reach Agia. So we are entering Agia. I wanted to show you a speciality of agya. This is a type of bun that you get here. Uh, very tasty. Small ones there. They look real nice and they taste good. I had eaten them earlier so you can try them out if you come across this way. Every place has a speciality and agya has that speciality for buns and I love them. You can try them out. From Maladhara, we have to take a right turn towards our destination. We take a right turn towards the temple. Boguan. This place is Boguan. So finally, we have reached our destination. The Kamakya Mandir at So we are entering. Okay, reach the place, the Kamakya oh. Temple. Okay. 
this is a famous uh, temple of Ma Kamaikya. Beautifully constructed, this particular temple shows the navel part of Sati, which, was, which had fallen here when Vishnu had disintegrated the decomposing body of Sati. Sati's body was disintegrated into 51 parts and which fell all over India. The vaginal part had fallen in Kamaikya. We have the famous Kamaikya Mandir in Gohati Nilachal Hill and here the navel part had fallen. This, is, this place is known as Joybom and here we have another Shakti Peet in Assam. Durga Puja Homoyed Manu Bisi Hoy. Are puja any hodai hoine? Unlike Kamaikya temple, here it is a serene atmosphere during normal days and it's a nice place to visit and witness another Shakti Peet in India. This is the place where they have their sacrifice during the Asami and Nabami Pujas, the Durga Pujas. And let me walk you around the place. It's a nice and serene atmosphere that we have here. And uh, unknown to us, there are so many shrines we do not know of. The atmosphere of this place is very different from the Kamaikya temple that we have in Guwahati and it's a very serene atmosphere in village uh, premises and here we have a pond too in, inside the premises of the uh, Mandi or the temple. We have very few people around and it gives a strange feeling of tranquility once we are here. Look at that, how beautiful the sun's rays looks on the pond, sparkling like gold. And this is the entire premise, entire campus of the Mandir. People have started coming in to offer their prayers to the Mother Goddess. Somehow we feel the entire country is united through this Shakti Peets. Wherever they are, wherever the pieces of Sati's body had fallen, we have one Shakti Peet growing and this is what connects the entire country. We can see in a way. This is the prayer hall there. And I just wanted to mention here around 25 kilometers radius here, most of them are actually Muslim people. But this particular place can be seen as an example of communion harmony. Here we just have one particular family nearby which is a Hindu family otherwise all of them are Muslim people and yet so here there are some people have come over for a picnic uh, they make their food here they prepare the food here but they'll have it outside of course there's a provision for you to have organized for a picnic here and enjoy this place can thus be seen as a beautiful example of communion harmony and here we have even the Muslim people there seated there they are all Muslim people and here we have the Hindu people and there is no difference between the two we've always heard about communal riots but here is an example of communion harmony where the Hindus are protected by the Muslims and in, even in the uh, Banchayat elections only one family of the Hindu they all voted for, them, for him to be elected. We only know about the conflicts between the two and how opposite they are. And here is an example of complete
complete harmony between the two communities and both of the communities protecting each other like one big human family. This is the entrance to Ma Kamaika's temple here at Joy Bhum. My name is Abdul Kadir Khundukar. I was the first school in the school of Joyabhum Kamakhavari High School. I was the first school in the school of Joyabhum Kamakhavari High School. I was the first school in the school of Joyabhum. This book narrates how once Goddess Kamaikya appeared in a dream to first a layman and then to the Zamindar of Lakhipur. The goddess then revealed her presence in this place where a particular cow used to come and give milk. On the orders of the Zamindar, this temple was built in the space of just one week and prayers were began by the Zamindar thereafter. The place chosen was where the cow used to give the milk. On the orders of the Zamindar, the Pujari was brought from Rampur. Then Bangladesh and India were just one country. A huge area of land was donated by the Zamindar so that the necessities of the temple could be met with. This village can be seen as a perfect example of communion harmony. In fact, all the pujas that are held here are actually looked after by all the Muslim people here. We all get together and celebrate together. Great example of communion harmony that you can see here. It's very, very surprising and really a great example for entire India and the entire world. Thank you. So that was our visit to this sacred temple. I hope you liked this vlog. I hope you came to know something different about another Shakti Peet in Assam. I hope you'll give my channel a like and a thumbs up and look out for more videos of this sound in my channel. Thank you so much for watching.